Welcome back to another episode of Chum Chat. We got a, we, we gave the people what they want. We got Dante Sealy on. Uh, the boys are doing well. I'm, me and Dante are in Houston getting ready for the game today. And uh, Johan has been doing well in his games. And Judd, hopefully, getting the season. But uh, welcome back to Chum Chat. We, we give you all what you all want. Dante Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. This is going to be a great episode. Dante, one of our bestest friends. He's been with us for a while now. He's a, he's a kid, but we're happy to see his success. What'd you say? My AirPods aren't working, bro. It's not connected. I want to ask him a few questions, just real quick, just a couple of questions. So obviously, Dante, the road has been uh, up and down. You know, obviously, you signed very early age, and uh, you you had to play academy with us. Came down, scored four goals in uh, the Florida Showcase. Uh, got to assist on one, and then North Texas, tough year. But now this year, breakthrough. You you sub in games. Eventually, I think you're going to start. I think you should start and be a big impact on the team. So what's what's that been like? Just going through the the roller coaster. Uh, well, last year, um, you know, it wasn't a very good year for me uh, in terms of my confidence because I don't feel like I was as confident as I <laughs> I can't take this guy seriously. <laughs> right, what kind of question is that, bro? Yeah, I, got uh, a question. I got a question, Dante. Do you uh, remember whenever you freestyled in the hotel in Mexico? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 All right, bro. bro, bro. <laughs> that shit. <laughs> oh, I can't take Dante serious, bro. <laughs> hey, hey, let's hey, let's just do the Instagram <laughs> first, bro. Okay. Yeah, I was trying to keep let's a straight face. <laughs> look what is game out, bro. I can't take you state my confidence. I lost. <laughs> <laughs> well, he said it too. Bro, I just started looking at Jed and I was dying, bro. That would have been a good answer too, because he was actually thinking about it. Yeah, that was gonna. No, nah, I mean, uh, I'm being dead. Ass. Yeah, no, but no. Nah, let's just let's just end that question with how do you how do you feel this year? Like finally getting minutes, subbing in. Like, what's that? What was your debut like? Uh, I mean, bro. <laughs> <laughs> just answer the question. Answer the question. What was my debut like? Yeah, I mean, you came um, on and destroyed them. Like, you had Megs. You were you were confident on the ball. You were dribbling people. You were taking people on. I mean, I mean what was it like? I mean, we was losing. I was kind of expecting to go in because, like, we needed an attacker because we was losing. But, um, yeah, when I went in, I tried to just, you know, be confident on the ball. You know. Did you feel nervous at all? Uh, Not really. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Stop the cap. Did you yeah, feel you're, you're a confident you know? player. You're a confident player. The last thing, the last yeah. thing of Dante is lacking is confidence. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. but that's unusual. I mean, usually, most usually. guys when they when they sub on, they're they're nervous or they they get tired real quick. Like yeah. a lot of people would talk about, they they can't breathe and nah, their legs get real heavy. Wrong. I was dead, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That that five minutes was tough, but like still, the no, it's good. Yeah, the adrenaline yeah, helps yeah, a lot, yeah, but. Yeah, I feel you. All right, well, let's pull up the Instagrams, and then uh, we'll, we'll start with uh, – I say we start with uh, – it's a tough one. I think we should start with Judd, maybe, huh? Yeah, let's yeah, start with Judd. Do you follow him? Yeah, I'd probably be higher if I had a blue check. Okay. All right. Judd, you got a Five post. Pretty solid profile. I think, the last line of that, I think the last line of that um, bio. Argyle, Texas. <laughs> yep. Argyle, Texas. Come and take it. What does that mean? Like, what, they, what do you want people to take? Well, like, I'm actually wearing the, the hat right now. You know, just a bit of Texas history, Texas pride. So, I got to let the people know. Yeah, yeah. But what, what do you want people to take from you? Because, like, most no, people – No, it's, it's like a – so, the do you want to hear the history about the flag? Hell no. To the no, 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 yeah, to the no. A thousand hundred followers, those hundred came from Chump Chat. For Bro, sure no lie. No lie. Yeah, we were trying to get you there. Showed major love, got me to a thousand followers, and just taken off since then. Clemson to SMU, acting like a big time athlete. Following yeah, what, quite what a lot of people. What is up with you still putting the Clemson in there? Like, you're not part of Clemson no more. Well, Clemson's a part of the player I am today. Uh, did, you only, did you play a game for Clemson or no? <laughs> I did. I played several games for Clemson. I did not hear about you playing for Clemson, Judd. 
I did. You can look it up online. I I got into some. I got some good news. Tanner told me all you did was train. You know, oh, Dante, bro, why are you saying that? I didn't threw say you that. under the bus, Tanner. That's crazy. I, I didn't got, say that. I got though. games. In. I I got some games. In. <laughs> okay. Okay, moving on. 803 following. It's a, it's a good ratio. It's a good ratio. You might want to lower that down. You know, you might be yeah, following yeah, yeah. one too many. Get that to like 400. Get to 400. But uh, let's really? go ahead and on this first post. I mean, there's only five, but working weekend. Hmm. Yeah, it was a hard weekend. I had to fix a couple fences and fill all the feeders. Judd, you need to cut off that beard, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Now it's beard season. Judd, you look like 10 years older with that beard on, bro. You're not even that old. Is that a problem? Yes, that's a problem, bro. You want to look old. old. Dante, did you like this pic, bro? Did I like that? No, Dante doesn't like any of my pictures. Yeah, I didn't. What are you doing there, Judd? I'm driving in a T post. I'm driving in a T post. Dang, all right, let's move on. This this post is kind of lame. Well, read the comments. I got some good comments on it. Most of them are like, oh. Who's oh, Lara Rana? You see that first, uh, first hey, comment? Hey, cowboy. Save a horse, ride a cowboy. All right, we're definitely not keeping that in there. I can bring some up about her, but I'm not. No, no, no. Let's bring it up. Let's bring no, it up. no, no. I'm, I'm not. I'm let's not. bring I'm it not. up. No. Nope. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. So you're too big time to respond to comments, huh? That's crazy. Yeah, I you like better respond that. to comments, Judd. I responded to a couple of them. That's crazy. Look, Judd, there's another respond to every single comment. Yeah, you definitely have to. Like, you, it's not like yeah, Kylie. Hmm. I have an interesting story about Kylie oh. Ryan, actually. Oh, that's not talk about very interesting. Not and we both have interesting stories about people in this comments. Maybe a maybe a different time. <laughs> Come on, you didn't even like it. I did like it. Look. Oh, did like it. Come on, yeah. Stop the cap. Who took this pic, Judd? My dad actually took these pictures without me that's knowing. Sus. You know, I thought they were cool. Judd, is that an Argyle? No, that's in Graham. Is that in Texas? Graham. Graham, Texas. Texas. Up, bro. Yes, Graham, it's in Texas. All right, yeah, let's move on. on. Let's move on. Let's move on. It's hard to ro- it's hard to roast like something that's so lame, you know. Tanner commented on this one, I remember. Laissez fair. What does that mean? You know, just free rolling. It means lazy hands. No, it doesn't. Yo, Joe, That's what, what I was taught in class. Hat? What tat did you get? Uh, it's Psalm 3419. The farmer. Do you like that, though? Huh? Do you like my tat? Nah, bro. I'm not even going to lie, bro. This one, is, this one is a good pick. This is a good pick. You know, if you had lost a shark tooth necklace, I'd rate it a 10. No, but I'm beaching. <laughs> I didn't even know Tanner commented that, bro. I swear I didn't even know he commented Tanner, they, Yeah, I was, I was beaching. I had to have the, the shark tooth. Is that really a shark tooth on your neck, bro? Whatever. The, like, gift shop, the gift shop sold it as a shark tooth. I mean, I have nothing against people that wear shark tooth necklaces, but. We left them back in 2010, I feel like, you know. I mean, yeah, like. Like it's like kind of a thing in the past, you know. But I mean, whatever floats your boat. Like I, some people may think it looks like good on them, but props to Joel, you know, just always coming in, just always. Yeah, coming always, in. always coming coming in. <laughs> Joel, I hear this persona here again. shoots you better than the farmer persona. I'm not gonna lie to you. I can I do mean, both. If I push, I think this picture is a little bit of a oof. It's a little bit of the, you know the oof pictures, like. Like this mm. is this is the picture well, that Joel would show to her friends. You feel me? She definitely would not show this picture, cause if she shows if she shows this picture to her friends, you're getting roasted, bro. Hey, well, uh, I'm, I'm being people. honest, bro. Laughing at her if she shows. Now nah, she shows this picture to her friends. You know they might be like, ah, he, ah, he. What are you gonna say? He's hey, your penis pick, bro, is the one in the Clemson um, the suit. That suit, that's clean. That's a, that's clean. Thanks, that that's clean. I'm not gonna hold that's you. That's definitely way cleaner. The caption is trash. The caption is trash. Well, what else am I supposed to get? I like the clean shaven look, though. We're supposed to be roasting. Roots. I feel like we're kind of boosting in here. Nah, I'll boost one picture, but the rest are trash. And you can do it. <laughs> that picture you should keep, Judd. Just don't get your hopes up, though. Delete the rest? Yeah. Nah, don't. Do, you only have five picks, bro. You need to be more active. This is solid, too. I mean, throwback. That's throwback. Very- I mean, unfortunately, Dante couldn't be there, you know. But um, this is this is some good memes. Captain, this is this is a good post. I have to agree. This is a good post. Showing that you're captain, showing that you get minutes, showing that you're a starter. 
Final yeah, four? And, and Did I even make the cut? The armband is clearly visible, so I feel like that was very cocky on your part, honestly. You know, yeah. uh, you basically said that Dan Hunt was, like, uh, on the phone with you after the game, just offering you a contract. <laughs> and, uh, that would have been great. So it was, was kind of cocky, honestly. But I can tell you right now that did not happen. Yeah, 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 because I spoke to him after, and I said his hamstrings are garbage. You know, don't sign him. Yeah, hamstrings are garbage. <laughs> Dante, Dante. All right, what's the last picture in this? I feel uh, like it's okay, mostly a picture of me. Yeah, it, that it's would... I'm telling Judd to actually do something good for once, um, but unfortunately he didn't listen. I'm pretty sure we he had a trash game. Um, this is back in Florida. <laughs> Did Dante play this one? Isn't this? No, no, this is in Cali. This is this in Cali. Yeah. Yeah, this is on the. Yeah, but this is in uh, this is in the Final Four game. No. This is like our first game, no. No, this Florida. is in St. Louis, I think, or no, versus Chicago. This is versus Chicago. All right, yeah. All right, let's move on. Eh? Yeah, let's move on. To- I think we have a – I think we could pull up a quick segment that Dante would be really into. I think we could do a, the spin the wheel and then ratings. I think Dante, if we, if we land on a good one, I think Dante would do a phenomenal job. Well, I think Dante has been the worst guest on Chum Chat so far. Judd, you've been the worst interview I've ever had in my life. You, you want to answer any questions? You're Judd, just- what do you like? Oh, yeah, let's get into some quick I mean, Should we interview him a little bit or what? No, we try. Yeah, down. interview me and don't laugh like after two seconds. Like, all right, all right. We'll, we'll go back to the first question. <laughs> no, 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 no. Forget that question because I know y'all are gonna laugh, bro. Just skip. I won't. We won't laugh. We won't laugh. We won't laugh. Bro, I just started laughing because I was looking at Judd. Judd was laughing at you, bro. I wasn't is there any way I could? Is there any way I can mute Judd? Hold up. <laughs> Not on. All right. Let me let me ask a question and and well, we won't laugh. I promise, we won't laugh. So, obviously, up up and down roller coaster. Uh, you, you sign at a, a, a young age. I mean, phenomenal. Congrats on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you started laughing, bro. Yo, you're All the right, one hey, laughing. Bro. Gonna chill, bro. Just put the hoodie down, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you sign at a, at a very young age, and then, you know, you're put down with the academy, uh, maybe when you think you should play, or you, you have to go on. <laughs> bro. <laughs> you got to go on loan to North Texas, which was, which was tough. I knew it was tough uh, when I was there with you, and then and then now this year, kind of getting your <laughs> <laughs> getting your first chance. You sub in, uh, you make your debut away in Minnesota, and then uh, you make your home debut versus uh, Columbus. Uh, what's so? What's it been like? Uh, this whole experience of just be, being with the first team. Uh... <laughs> All right, I'll do this. I'll do this. I'll do All right. This. <laughs> yeah, let's. Yep. Just what's it been like, Dante? Um. Wait, repeat the question because I was I was looking at Johan the whole time, bro. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> you've obviously had a lot of up and downs. Uh, just since you've been signed, uh, you know, you signed and it was all high moments. Uh, everybody's congratulating you. Then you get put down to the to the academy and you and you show how well you score four goals in in a game and and continue to do well, but then. You, you go on loan to North Texas, and uh, w- what was that like now being from North Texas now to be in the first team and, and making appearances, getting minutes, and making your debut? Um, you know, I, I just feel like it's a, it's a testament to my hard work, you know. Uh, last, last season wasn't a very good season, in my opinion. But, you know, I kept, I kept pushing through it. And, um, and, you know, now I'm here, so I just got to do well with all my opportunities. And, you know, just be confident. I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm not the type of player that gets, like, you know, anxious or, like, you know, when I step on the field. So I'm going to just play my game and let that take me um, to wherever it takes me. I like that, okay. bro. I like that. Okay. Finally, a good answer. All right. Now I'm serious now, so we can, I can, I can do a good question now. But. All right. So, yeah, but you, you're, talking about, you're talking about, you know, a slow season, your first season. But the same thing happened with Reggie. Had him on Chump Chat also. Um, and now look where he's at, you know, in Europe. Obviously, I think you can follow. I don't know if you think so, but I think you can definitely follow that same path, maybe even a little bit quicker, getting over to Europe. So what is that? Like, you trying to go to Europe? I mean, you've had interest from PSV from other uh, clubs like that. So is that your goal? Uh, yeah, well, my goal is to, to obviously go to Europe, but I want to um, solidify myself here first. Like, you know, I want to play games in MLS, you know, decent games before I go over there. Because if you just jump 
to Europe without really playing much here, like, like you're not really prepared. Um, so my goal is to, you know, play a season here and then hopefully uh, be ready uh, to go a full season here and be ready to go then. Wow, that's a very mature answer, Dante. Thank you for pulling us together to answer us. Um, I got a less mature question. Do you remember whenever we took your phone? At, <laughs> uh, Bro, Judd, what are you at asking this man? <laughs> All right, I, hey, let's be serious a little bit more than, than that. <laughs> that All right, right Dante, that was a, I forgot that memory. Bro. Yeah, I got, I got you. I got you. So, um, for, for me, um, Obviously, I see you day in, day out. We train together. We've been training together a long time, so I, I kind of know you as a person and as a player. But for the people listening, what would you say is, uh, is like, what do you bring to the team with your attributes? And then what would you say that, you know, you got to – that you've been working on or developing since you've been a, a professional soccer player? Uh, that's a good question. Um, what I've been working on is definitely my, um, my discipline because, you know, I come from the academy where, you know, I'm starting day in, day out, you know. Like, if I have a bad training, I already know I'm in the, in the lineup, lineup. And um, transitioning here, like, you know, you're going to start from the bottom. And, you know, every day isn't, like, guaranteed. Like, if you, if you train bad, then you won't make the roster. And, like, you know. So definitely keeping right. that um, the right mentality um, is important. And, you know, some days I slip up and, I, you know, and they tell me when I slip up, but, just keeping the right mentality is something I've improved on. And uh, what was the the first the first question? What do you uh, what do you think your attributes are to bring to the team? Like, what do you what are your strengths? Um. Well, obviously, I'm a, I'm an attacking winger, so you know, I love attacking. I love creating chances. You know, I'm I, I'm creative. Um. Like you can put me in the game, and I'll I'll bring flair. And uh, yeah. I just what do you model your game after? Uh, Mbappe. Is uh my idol. I look up to him. So okay. And we, we peeped we peeped you were uh youngest player to be on that January U twenty roster. Uh yeah. you've been getting uh you got a you got the shot to train with the senior team, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that's big time, that's big moves. Uh so what are your goals uh for the national team? Are you trying to make the twenty World Cup? Do you wanna have an impact? Uh, yeah. uh as of now, yeah. I'm trying to I'm trying to play games so I could, you know put myself in a position to, to make the U20 World Cup. That will be big time. And hopefully I see you, you and Tanner on that roster too. But um, yes, sir. But yeah. That's the plan. Okay, okay, okay. I'm All right, Carson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. So, Dante, you, obviously you played with, you know, us, an older age group growing up and through the academy. How do you think that prepared you for the first team and did it help you? Uh, Yeah, well, definitely I've been playing up pretty much my whole life, so – you know, playing with older kids, it definitely kind of prepared me for, you know, that, that little jump. So I'd say physicality-wise, like, you know, I was kind of prepared for it. But, um, but yeah, I feel like that's the, that's, uh, the major factor in, um, in the pros. Like, the, the physicality here is different. So, you know. Yeah, I think, I think definitely your playing up has definitely increased your, your physicality. Because, I mean, you may not be the biggest guy, but you're definitely an aggressive player. Yeah. Um, but uh, here at Chum Chat, we like to ask our signature question. Um, Johan asked it best, so I'm gonna let him ask the the question. But uh, right. I like I want to I want to hear a good answer, Dante. I want to hear a good answer. Yeah. So think about it. So here at Chum Chat, we try to define success. Obviously, it's our motto. It's our motto, and we ask everyone it. So, do you think you're successful? And if you don't think you're successful yet, what do you have to do to achieve success, in your opinion? Um, am I successful yet? No, I don't think so. Um, uh, when I think I achieve success is when, you know, when I go to Europe and I feel like I established myself at a, at a, at a big team, I think then I'll be successful. But as of now, like I haven't done nothing yet. Like I've literally done nothing. Um, I just got to keep working and, you know, try to fool myself every day. So in some ways you think you've achieved a little bit of success, but you want yeah. a lot. I mean, yeah, I think I've achieved a little bit, but not enough to say so what Dante, thank you so much for being on Chum Chat with us. We really appreciate it. If, if you're watching this right now, make sure you go like and subscribe. Um, we'll pop up all our stuff on the screen right now. And, yeah, just thanks again, Dante. And uh, Thanks again, Dante. Big big stuff coming. And Bro, remember, y'all, go find your success.